What has happened in the United States over the last couple of days has been horrifying. I think when I contemplate who the United States are, I see a mixture of some really good people and I see some really fucked up people. I see sometimes the good people not necessarily understanding, I guess, the circumstances in which they often find themselves. And I hear the good people saying some stupid, ridiculous things about particularly gun control. Now they have many issues in the US that are, um, that are just beyond me in terms of trying to understand what it is that they believe in, why they believe in what they do, and how they act. Uh, whether it comes from abortion rights, to vaccinations, to their governmental system, to gun control. Now, I posted a day or so ago about what had happened in Texas. And I just want to elaborate on that a little bit because I actually believe that the United States in, every time they claim that they're the greatest nation on earth, they almost need to claim that because the reality is they aren't. And I think to some extent they know that, but they don't have the ability to reflect on what it is that they think they are great at because there are so many things that they're not good at at all. And one of them is really looking after their own communities. That... 19 children get killed in a matter of 40 minutes is horrifying at any level. To claim that you cannot do anything about this gun control problem in the United States is bewildering, given that there have been countries like Australia and New Zealand that have met that problem, resolved it, and consequently have saved many, many lives. But somehow, within the United States, they don't understand any of that. They become kind of lost, I guess, in this notion that everybody in the United States is entitled to carry a gun. Now, I just need to remind them that it was the Second Amendment, so it is an amendment, so I guess one can change one's constitution if you wish to amend it. And secondly, it was at a time when they were fighting the British and that they needed militias in order to be able to gather together to fight off the, the, the British troops, I guess. Now, historically, I guess that was appropriate. But the reality is that today there's no such battle on US soils. And yet, to some extent, they hold dear that particular amendment to their constitution. No one, no one, apart from law, I guess, unless you're a police officer, uh, unless you're a security guard, uh, no one really should be carrying a gun. End of story. And when we think about what would happen if we waved a magic wand and for some reason those in the United States, uh, the citizens of the US, didn't carry guns, how many hundreds of thousands of lives would be saved? The reality is that in the United States, it's the most violent country on earth. And that they don't seem to want to acknowledge that the reasons why it is one of the most violent countries on earth is because they all have access to guns. So if you eradicated guns, if you got rid of guns, you would actually save lives. And it, it kind of amuses me as to why, if that's the case, why isn't it then that they do something about getting rid of guns? If you value life, why isn't it that you want to get rid of guns? If, and there are a bunch of contradictions because if you also value life um, and you're not prepared to do something about the number of people that get killed by guns, 
and yet you will make a stand <coughs> against women choosing over the rights to abort and you would fight for that uh, and you don't want young children to die or you know fetuses to be destroyed yet you're quite content somehow with the fact that there are so many guns in your country that people get killed at will. I don't understand the logic, I don't understand the passion, I don't understand the love for guns, which is really, at the end of the day, what it's all about. If you didn't love guns so much, for whatever it is they represent to you, the power that you seem to have by holding this metal thing in your hand, um, I guess it's foreign to me as it is to many people, and as I think it is to many people in the US as well. You know, <clears throat> there was a uh, Republican uh, senator, I think, on, on CNN, who was talking about the fact that uh, there are some changes that they could clearly make around gun legislation, but he was a proud owner of a gun. I think, why do you need to have a gun? Hi, how many people are you afraid of? How many enemies do you have? that you believe you need to have a gun to protect yourself. And when was the last time you were assaulted or someone tried to assault you or take your life? Now, I appreciate that as a politician, you may, you may acquire a number of enemies, but for most people in the population, we don't. Um, I think may find people that don't like me, but there's no one I think that's gonna kill me. I don't think that there are people out there looking to take my life or anybody else's life uh, simply because they disagree with us. What sort of society do we live in where we're so fearful for our life that we have to protect ourselves? And how many people actually within the US actually use a gun to protect themselves versus those number of people that use guns to simply to kill? It's confusing and something needs to be done. And I guess I'm making this video simply because I can and because it needs to be said. You're fucked. You really are. You've got no idea as to what it is that you're doing. You've got no moral standing whatsoever. You know, we in the rest of the world are appalled at your behaviour. Absolutely appalled. And it strikes me as odd that we, you have a president who will make a stand against the... Uh, <coughs> the lobbyists that are pro-gun and but is unable to be able to say we need to do away with all guns the, at the end of the day that's the stand that needs to be made but no politician of any particular persuasion is prepared to make that stand and it's appalling it will result in more and more deaths more children being killed more families feeling lost and alone. In other words, you don't have the guts to be able to make the changes that other countries in the world have been able to do. You are holding on to something that is an illusion. The Second Amendment is erroneous at every possible level these days. So you need to do something about it. Because if you don't, more children, more innocent people will simply die.